In this tip, I'm going to show you how to create a calendar that you can add to your dashboard and use it for filtering. Here's an example of what I'm talking about. Notice on the upper right hand side I have this calendar. Now you can add a regular calendar filter to Tableau, but it doesn't give you any additional information. For example, this one shows you the average sale price by day in March 2021. I can change this to, for example, April 2021. I can click on a day and you see it filters my two charts down here at the bottom. Pick a different day or maybe I've select a week. So how do we go about building that? So here's most of the dashboard already built. I'm going to create a new sheet and I'm going to simply start building a calendar. I'm going to right click and drag purchase date to the filters. Choose the month slash year option. I'm going to go ahead and show that filter and I'm going to pick just March 2021. Okay, from here we need to put weekdays across the top, the week number down the left, and then we're going to put the average sale price onto the color. I'm going to then put the day onto the label shelf. Okay, now notice Tableau turned the text blue, but I want the box filled in like a heat map. So I'm going to just change my mark type from automatic to a square. I'm going to do a bit of formatting to clean it up. I'm going to maybe make it seven point. And then I'm going to set the days to go on the upper right. I'm going to add a small border. And there we go. I can now hide the header for the week. I'm going to hide the field labels for the columns. And because I know I'm going to have limited space on my dashboard, I'm going to format my weekdays to be only the first letter. Okay, so now if we go to our dashboard, I have this filter section here on the left hand side where I want my calendar to go. So I'm going to drag my calendar sheet. Notice my average sale price came down here as a color legend, so I'm going to remove that. And my date filter is also in here, so I'm going to change that because I don't want the all option, so I'm going to uncheck show all values. And then I'm going to change it to a single value drop down. Let's drag that up here above the sheet. I'm going to go ahead and hide the title. And on this sheet, I'm going to hide the title as well. Now, the, everything's not fitting in this view, so while I have the calendar sheet selected, I'm going to change my view from standard to entire view. Now, it's gotten a bit too tall, so let me just go ahead and edit the height. And let's say we want it to be maybe 150 pixels. Okay, so that looks pretty good. But also notice how the background of the chart is of the calendar is all white. So let's go ahead and format the calendar. On the shading options, Let's set the worksheet to none. Now it blends in better with the filters area. Okay, so now that I have that, I'm going to go ahead and add an action. So I'm going to start by clicking on the use as filter action. But now when I click on a day, notice how my daily average price just filters down to a single day. I don't want this filter to apply to my line chart. So if I go to dashboard, actions, I have a, the automatically generated filter here. I'm going to rename it. I'm going to say I'm just going to call this my calendar filter. And I'm going to uncheck the sheet that is my daily average price. Hit OK. Hit OK again. And now, for example, if I pick the 16th, notice my calendar doesn't change, or sorry, my, my uh, line chart doesn't change, but my average sale price by buyer age and my daily average price versus discount changes. And that's all there is to it. Have a great day.